In this session, uh, we'll go over RBA interface basics so that we can utilize RBA more effectively. Now, if you're already familiar with a lot of the other window programs, that um, you will be already familiar with the uh, menu concept. Uh, so RBA is uh, also another Windows program. So you simply click the, uh, the menu bar and then it'll bring down the, all the functions that are available under each module, uh, calendar, production, billing, and so forth. And you'll simply click a function you wanted to execute. Under the regular menu bar, you'll also see what's called the standard toolbar, which is the collection of uh, graphical icons or buttons that you can also click. And they represent the uh, commonly used RB8 functions. Unlike the menu bar, you can actually customize the uh, this uh, standard toolbar yourself. For example, uh, if you want to do any kind of a customization to the toolbar, all you have to do is simply right click uh, on the area to the right of the toolbar and you can uh, select a function called customize. The first thing I can do, first of all, is that Probably I like to make the, these li icons large so I can see them better. So I just click on this checkbox here and then they become large. And another thing you can also do is you can uh, add or delete these icons or move them around. Uh, so for example, if I click the Command tab and this is where all the icons will be visible under each menu item. So for example, if I click on the calendar uh, I see an icon there next to the resource availability, which I do not see at the top of the standard toolbar. So I'll simply grab that icon and bring it up here until I see the insertion bar. And then I can just simply pick a location and then simply let it go. And then my icon will be inserted there. If you also see uh, uh, an icon that you do not need, to have it up there because you do not probably work in that particular department. For example, if I do not need a turn in since I do not work in a production, I can simply grab the icon and just drop it and then they'll disappear. Uh, and then you can bring it, bring them back anytime later by simply grabbing it again and bring it up to the uh, turn in screen there. You can also hide this toolbar if you do not want it. Uh, by simply right-clicking on it to the right of the area. And right now the standard toolbar is selected. If you just simply click it again, then toolbar will disappear. And uh, you can bring it back by doing the same thing. You can also move the standard toolbar around if you do not want it at the top of the screen. You can simply grab this vertical dot called the handle and simply drag it any location you want. For example, I can bring it to the right. and so on. Now also RBA supports a lot of the keyboard shortcut keys uh, in addition to the mouse clicks. So if you wanted to activate some of those menu functions, uh, then you can use the combination of Alt key or Control key. For example, if you do Alt and letter C, then it'll simply activate the calendar menu. And then after that, you can hit another letter that is also underlined. For example, I can hit letter M without the Alt key this time to simply activate the months at a glance. RB also provides some hotkeys for those frequently used functions uh, with a combination of a control key. For example, if you click any of the menu items Sometimes you'll see to the, uh, to the right of the function, there is the control combination. For example, turn in, uh, you can use the control T to activate the turn in function, billing, control B, inquiry, control I, and so on and so forth. 